YouTube, what is happening today? We're gonna go ahead and get my client together, but this tutorial is gonna be a little different. Um, I'm gonna do it live. I'm gonna keep all the conversation in there, even if it has nothing to do um, with the haircut. We're just gonna keep it raw, organic, and I'm gonna walk out through this cut, man. So let's get it. Man, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm super tired today. Went to bed at three in the morning last night editing a video for you guys, man. Zombie. What up, bro? How are you? Good, are you? good, good. Are you done for today? You got class. Yeah, I got class. Dang. What time? Five? Five thirty. Mm. All right, sir. What would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna trim it a little bit and then the normal fade. Clean it to clean up the taper. Yeah. But you just wanna hit hit the ends of it. Uh, yeah. Or you wanna take a good amount off? Right. Uh, do you remember how the length it was last time? I, I'm not gonna lie, there's never like an exact length. It's usually like we put our hand where we want to put it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'll pick it all out and then, okay. you know, we'll do it like that. There's probably usually like a half an inch, right? I think, maybe. Right. So I'm low-key gonna do the tutorial live instead of the voiceover like how I usually do after. Mm -hmm. So you hear me talk to the camera, don't laugh at me. I'll try <laughs> don't laugh at me, bro. You can do it for me, explain what I'm doing, what am I doing? <laughs> no, <laughs> so you two, we're just gonna go ahead and pick out his hair before we get into the haircut. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. Sheesh. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it out. Unless I do it? <laughs> Thanks bro, I appreciate it. <laughs> Getting the shoulder workouts today. <laughs> this is what you need to be doing on shoulder day. Man. For real, just pick out your hair. So I just went ahead and pinned up his hair to get it out of the way for the taper. So we're gonna start with the back taper first. So I'm gonna come in with my trimmer first and establish my bald line right below the bottom of the ear, about right here. And my client tends to turn a little red, so I don't think my clippers are hurting them. Does it hurt? Cool, cool. <laughs> Then we're gonna follow it up with our shaver to get it closer to the skin. We're gonna come in with our lever open and we're gonna go up about a finger's width. Now after we establish that line, there's a faint one in between, so I'm gonna come in with my lever closed and then open it little by little. So right here, I'm coming in closed and working at that line. And don't be scared to go up because in order to get rid of a line, you have to go into it a little bit. Now we'll open that lever about a quarter of the way. Now we'll go halfway. And after this halfway, it should pretty much get rid of the line, but now we're gonna go lever all the way open again and just retouch up the top of that line. And that should pretty much get rid of that line that was in between. So now you wanna go ahead and grab the one guard with that lever all the way open. And we're gonna do the same thing, go up about a finger's width. Always making sure it's a brush in between every time you go up with the clipper because you want to make sure you lay the hair back down. Now we'll go ahead and close that lever all the way and lighten up that line in between. And now to get rid of this line right here, I'm gonna come in with my half guard and that lever all the way open. And we're gonna go ahead and attack this line, making sure that I don't go all the way to the top of it, but I stay right below it. So after we go open, we'll go halfway. And we're gonna work our way closed now. So it's starting to lighten up. Now we'll go ahead and close it a quarter of the way. And you can see right here that it's pretty much getting rid of that line. And now we'll go to the biggest guard that we are going to use, which is that two guard. And we're gonna go lever open, just like we, what we did with the other steps. 
And with this, we're not necessarily creating a line. I wanna come in with this uh, two guard and flare out as I get towards the top or the back of his head. And I wanna stay right below that occipital bone, which is the bone that sticks out on the back of the head. So again, two guard lever open. And I'm gonna come in with that scoop out motion. And this is debulking while at the same time blending as well. So as you can see, we're creating shape when we do this. And like I said, this was the biggest guard we are going to use. So now we're gonna go ahead and blend down using our one and a half right here. Now you always want to make sure that you dust off your client while you're cutting them because you want to make sure that they stay as comfortable as possible. So right where we left off, we're going to grab our one and a half with that lever all the way open. And we're going to attack this line right here. Not trying to create another harsh line, so we're trying to blend into that two guard open. So as you would guess, we're gonna go ahead and close it all the way and attack the rest of this line. And this will pretty much get us through our steps or our system, and then it'll be a matter of detailing from there. So as you can see, there was a line that the one and a half couldn't quite get. So we're gonna come in with our one open. So we're going back to a smaller guard and we're really gonna use, utilize the corner of the blade here especially since his hair is growing inwards. So I'm lever open with this one guard using the corner of that blade. And I always like to start off open because you know you can always take off more hair, but once it's gone, you can't put it back on. So we're starting open and you can see it starts to lighten up little by little. So now we'll close it halfway. Now we'll close it all the way and this should pretty much bring that taper together. And now I'm gonna show you some clipper over comb to blend into this length back here, and especially this weight that you see going behind the ear. So I'm gonna come in with that comb, and just like I did with the two guard, I'm gonna flare out slightly, and that's gonna maintain that shape that we created. And then I'm gonna come in lever open on my clipper. So I'm coming in with that comb, and then any hair sticking out of it, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. And this is gonna act as any guard above that too. And clipper over comb was a very challenging thing for me to learn because I was always scared I was gonna take off too much hair. But just like anything, you know, it took practice and repetition in order for me to get comfortable. And a rule of thumb that helped me is I figured out that the lever open against the comb acts as a one guard. So that helped me gauge like how much I was taking off. And you can even do some freehand work to blend it a little better as well. And right here, I'm just using the corner of my blade to go ahead and attack any dark spots I see. Because what using the corner of the blade does is allow you to go into those areas where you may have used a one and a half or a two, and it allows you to go in there with a half and really get into those you know dark spots. All right, so for the side taper, what I wanna do is establish my bald line right at the end of his eyebrow and where the ear connects to his head. So I'm gonna come in with my trimmer, starting in those two places. And we're just gonna meet him. I like to give my tapers kind of like a slight round shape because that burst effect keeps the edges dark. We want to have a nice clean guideline and then we'll go ahead and bought out the rest right here. Now right after that step, what we're going to do is grab our shaver and we're going to go ahead and take this down to the skin. And the shaver just adds, you know, a couple days to the taper and makes that blend really pop. Now above that, we're going to come in with our lever 
all the way open on our clipper. And we're gonna do about a finger's width right here as well. And you'll see me use a lot of the corner of the blade when I'm doing the side taper because it's such a small area to work with. That if I was to use the full blade, I could risk taking it up too high, which is what we don't wanna do. So you can see I covered some distance with this taper. Now to get rid of that line in the middle, I'm gonna come in closed on my clipper and we're gonna attack this line. And then as we move up, I'll go ahead and open that lever. So now we're gonna go a quarter of the way. Now we'll go halfway. Now we'll go all the way. And that pretty much got rid of that line in the middle there. I'm just going back and detailing any little dark spots. Now we're gonna grab that one guard with that lever open once again. Cause remember, I like to establish my guidelines with the open. And I'm gonna go up a finger's width once again. Still maintaining that kind of burst shape. And don't be scared to, you know, cut some hair off when you're doing the taper. Cause what a lot of people do is, you know, they don't want to risk taking the taper up too high that they won't take off enough hair and they leave the taper like right here. And that just doesn't last very long. You know, obviously, unless the client asks for it, most people, from my experience, like more of like a mid taper. So now for that light line in between, as you would guess, we're gonna come in lever closed and just attack this line. So now we're gonna come in with the half guard, sorry, half guard, halfway. Still using the corner of the blades here. And a taper is a very simple haircut to do. Um, and I feel like if you can master, you know, doing a taper or at least do it well, you can definitely, you know, build some decent clientele because it's a popular haircut. And then really, once you learn how to do a taper, you can do a fade because all a fade is, or all a taper is, is a fade in a small area where as to a fade, it's a fade, you know, all throughout the whole head. So now we're gonna come in with that two guard open, which is still gonna be the biggest guard we are using. And we're just gonna come off the shape of his head here. And if you guys like this comb, which is a comb slash brush, make sure you head to the barber plug link in bio and use the promo code Drake Clipper Hands. So now two guard open, and we're just gonna come off the shape of his head here. So now after that two guard open, we're gonna blend down to get rid of this last line. So we're gonna drop down to that one and a half with the lever open, and then we'll close it little by little. So I wanna make sure that I comb the hairs back down in place. And we're gonna come in open right here. You can already see really just using the corner of the blade. So I pretty much got rid of it, but we're gonna go ahead and close it all the way to get rid of it even a little more. And now to blend into some of this weight and length, you know, around the top of this taper and coming behind the ear, we're gonna do some clipper over comb. And what I wanna show you guys right here before I get into the clipper over comb is I wanna maintain kind of that wedge shape where it's tight towards the bottom and flares out as you get towards the top. So I'm keeping in mind when I come in with that comb to flare out because I wanna maintain that same shape here. So we're gonna come in with that comb here with the lever open on our clipper. And we're gonna blend into that length. Now we'll go ahead and freehand some of those overhanging hairs here. Now, when it comes to lining up the nape area, I always like to have reference points. So I like to create one at the top of the ear and then the bottom of the neck and meet those two points in the middle. So I'm gonna start at the top of the ear so we don't risk the chance of taking this too high. So I wanna go ahead and comb that down. And we're just lining up right at the top of the ear, right where the hairline is. And you can see once we do that, we can already see where the line is kind of going to already start to naturally form. 
I'm gonna follow that all the way down. And we are gonna throw in a slight design here in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that as well. So I'm gonna give him kind of like a zigzag shaped design. So I'm gonna start off with a slope right here at the uh, bottom of his ear. I just wanna go ahead and suit that. And you might have to come in the opposite direction to make sure you can really see that line. And it doesn't have to be perfect the first time through, but you do wanna make sure that you can see it. And now I'm gonna add a line coming up right off of that, a line that is at a slight angle. And his hair is very thick, so I have to go over it numerous times with the trimmers as well. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a line that kind of swoops in the opposite direction upwards right off the top of that line. I'm gonna start at the top of that line. I'm gonna go ahead and start where I want it to end and then I'll meet those in the middle. And that is our rough uh, draft of the line, but now we're gonna go back in detail with the trimmer and the razor. Now with the razor, all I wanna do is come in and get all the stubble in between that the trimmer you know, can't get as close. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack the bottom of that line. So I'm stretching the skin. Now we're gonna hit this side as well. So after we hit it with the razor, that design really should pop and stand out. So what I wanna do for the hairline area is I wanna taper this down to get it, you know, to lay down better, but still keep it the same shade of darkness. So that way when the top hangs over, it doesn't look as if it's disconnected. So we're gonna come in with that one and a half. And we're gonna go downwards with the grain. And we're just tapering that hairline down a little bit. And now to go ahead and lock the hairline in place, I'm gonna use some hairspray. In this case, I'm gonna use level three hairspray. We're just gonna spray lightly. So when doing the hairline, what you wanna do is start in the middle um, and decide which, you know, which way you wanna line up first. So in this case, I'm gonna go to my right. So I'm gonna start right here in the middle. And for all you haters, man, this is not a pushback. These little hairs here are bangs. So you wanna go ahead and cut those off. The goal is to keep it as natural as possible, but at the same time, get it as sharp and as crispy as possible. So after we establish that middle line, we're gonna move towards his corners and uh, arch area. And you kinda gotta visualize where the two points are gonna meet so you can see his, his box is right here and the top of his hairline is here. So they'll meet in that area right there. So we're gonna come straight across. And now we're gonna go towards his box area. And with the arch, you wanna start at the most natural point of the top and the widest point at the bottom. And then you'll meet those two points in the middle. So we're gonna start at the highest point, or the lowest point at the top of the arch. And then the widest point at the bottom. And I will meet those in the middle. And that'll give us that nice round shape without you know, digging into that area too much. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, use that middle as the reference point. And then work our way to the corners. Now we'll go to the box and meet those two points in the middle. Start at the bottom of his arch, at the top of his arch. 
now the bottom of his arch. Let me those in the middle. And we are gonna use some enhancement on the uh, the box area of his lineup. So I'm gonna use my 245 card with my airbrush. And I'm gonna spray it lightly at first, and then we'll darken it up as needed. And as you can see, all it does is darken up the lineup and really make everything, you know, pop and get that Instagram uh, quality. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, right on that line. And as you can see, it's not covering any mistakes. It's just enhancing the work that we've already done. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is recline our client and get them ready for the razor. So go ahead and go back with me. Good night. And what you wanna do with the razor is stretch the skin in the opposite direction of which you are using it. And just get rid of all those hairs that the uh, clipper couldn't quite get. And this is gonna add longevity to the hairline as well. It will allow it to not grow back as quickly. Same with this side. All right, now that you got the size cut, you know how much you wanna take off. As far as like, with your hand, if you have to point it out. Let's see. Do you just want it to have a little more shape? Or do you actually want some some length off for real? I think I want a little bit off. Like, just a little bit of length off. Okay, but and then give it a, like nice shape. Yeah. Okay. Keep some to hang over in the front. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we don't know what we about to do, but we about to do it though. <laughs> <laughs> so we back to picking this baby out real quick because it shrunk up while we was cutting. So we can take off about this much. <laughs> <laughs> so when trimming the length on top with you know really tight curly hair um, it's really hard to do scissors so what I like to do is do the clippers and get the shape of the haircut first and then if there's any hair sticking out you know I'll get that with my scissors because on white hair obviously you can pull it through and trim it you know all to with your fingers but you know with this hair texture you can't really do that because the comb won't feed through the hair correctly so it's more so about creating shape than it is about, you know, making everything perfectly the exact same length. So our goal right now is to make him look like he's from the 90s and give him that, you know, super clean fro. So that way when it shrinks back up, you know, it shrinks into a nice, a nice shape and style. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse this, but I gotta show him the mirror so he can approve of the cut first. Mm. Let me know, let me know. That's the one? Yes, you sure you don't wanna walk out with the fro? No. <laughs> All right, we can slide over here. You want me to wash your face too? Positive? Mm. All right, bro. And the reason we're washing his hair is so that way we can, um, you know, get it back to its curly state since we picked it out and really had it standing up the whole time. And I charge $100 extra for shampoos. Um, I don't think he knew that, but you know. <laughs> and now I'm gonna grab my towel. And what I'm gonna do when I dry his hair is that I don't wanna like, you know, scrub super hard because I don't wanna create too much frizz in his hair. Is I'm gonna kinda try to pat, pat dry it as best as I can. And then depending on his preference, we'll diffuse it um, or we'll let it air dry. Cause it be cold out here in Ohio. I don't wanna send him out and his hair be frozen, you know? 10 out of 10, how you feel, bro? Amazing. 12. Amazing? 12? All right, let's get it.